All of this can be yours. But Jesus responds to the tempter by saying, worship the Lord, serve the Lord only. And we know, we know from reading the scripture at time and time and time and time again, that true worship of God is done in the act of loving one another. True worship of God is done when we care for the widow and for the orphan, for the marginalized and for the leper, for the outcasts of society, for the people, for the people who have been pushed to the edges. This is where worship of God comes. And so, even in the wilderness, what will you do with the power that you have? Will you use it to only take care of you and yours? Or will you use it to worship God by caring for all of God's creation in whatever ways you can? That's the question that we are faced with in this third temptation. This story of Jesus and the tempter in the desert is one that speaks to the very heart of who we are, especially in wilderness days such as these, when the world as we know it is changing when every week it seems there is a new global catastrophe for us to mourn. We have choices. We have choices. Will you choose to remain faithful? That's the question for us during this Lenten season. It's the question for us every single day. Amen.